here we are. <laughs> it's day 21. Well done, everyone. You made it to the end. So I just want to say I think you're awesome. I think you are an amazing human being for committing to something like this and sticking with it every day, even if you had to take a day or two off along the journey, but you made it to the end and that's amazing. So I want you to definitely take a moment today or if you're doing this in the evening, take a moment tomorrow to celebrate how awesome you are. Do something small, do something big, but celebrate the fact that you took time out to completely dedicate to you. You took time out to have space. You took time out to nurture yourself, to feed back in. And it, I hope that along the journey, some certain things have clicked and triggered and you've, you've learned and you've grown. And I hope that you are feeling very ready to incorporate Ian into your life when you need it. And thank you from the bottom of my heart for letting me be the person who guides you through your yoga practice. It's an absolute honor, to be honest. I absolutely love um, being able to teach you guys this yin practice. And I just want to say thank you for being in touch. And it's just been so lovely seeing all of your pictures and healing all, hearing all about your experience on the Facebook group and in the comments. And um, please don't underestimate how much it means to you to me when I hear from you in the comments it kind of makes it all worthwhile for me so so guys today I just want to make this all about being thankful being grateful a little bit of a celebration so we're going to move through as always a calming and nurturing yin yoga practice but we're going to have a big emphasis on just thank you for thank you for thank you for as we move through You can come into a cross-legged position. You can sit up onto a cushion. Close your eyes. Let your spine be long. And your face soft. Take a few deeper breaths in through the nose, nice and slowly, all the way up to the top. Out through the nose, down to the end. Don't rush your breathing here. Breathing in, let the belly rise and then the chest expand. Slow yourself down, be with the breath as it's happening. Breathing out. One more deep breath in. And out. Feel the floor beneath you. Feel the body, the presence of the body. Feel the air moving through the nose. Soften face, shoulders. Arriving in your moment. Already feeling a sense of gratitude for the practice. Grateful and happy to be here together. One more deep breath in and out. Opening the eyes, let the shoulders roll back a couple of times and then forwards and we'll come down off of the cushion, taking the feet wide, straight into dragonfly pose. Remember, you can have blocks or cushions under the knees, create a bend so that it's more gentle for the backs of the legs and even for the insides. You can sit up onto a cushion and sit to the edge of the cushion if you feel like you're falling back. 
sitting to the edge of a cushion will just rock you in. So sitting up nice and tall, nice bit of length through the spine, and then leaning forwards and just letting the spine round, letting the whole body start to relax into this posture. Take your time about relaxing, neck is softening. Head drops forward more and more as you relax your neck. And if you need to stack whatever props work for you, whether it's blocks, bolsters, cushions, or a combination in front, so that you have something to rest your head into for support if the weight of the head becomes too much for the neck or shoulders. Breathe down into your belly and let your breath be relaxed and free. Each time you breathe out, allow your body to let go a little bit more. You may notice that your body is beginning to learn to relax. It's like any other skill. The more you practice letting go, the more readily your body softens. You're building a habit. When I first started yoga, I found it took a whole class to even get even a little bit of relaxation. I was so stressed and anxious. And now, sometimes it only takes a breath, maybe two or three breaths, and my body knows what to do. So the more you practice relaxation, the better. Breathing out, letting go. As you watch your body softening and relaxing, be filled with gratitude about just how, how good your body is at doing what it needs to do when it's given the right opportunity, the right conditions. So as you feel your body letting go, feel grateful. Or glad that you have a body that works like this, that works so well. It knows how to let go, it knows how to calm, it knows how to relax and rest. few more breaths here. And slowly walking the hands back in. Taking a deep breath as you leave your posture. Coming over onto your belly, 
relaxing into a sphinx. So resting into your forearms. You can support the head. You can take the hands forward and be more gentle in the arch of the back. And you can support with cushions or a bolster underneath the chest. Take your time about investigating which posture, which version of the posture you need today. What feels just right in your body. Gratitude is a really, really important practice. It's not something I do by accident, it's something I do deliberately. Sometimes when you're feeling really in a bad mood, you have to start with something that you really feel good about. So often I'll go to Hugo, my dog, (laughs) and I'll feel how grateful I feel for him. And that just starts to shift my energy in the right direction. And then maybe I'll think about the sunshine or some nice food I had and feel thankful for that. And then you've got your momentum going in the right direction. So think about something now. Something in your life that is an easy go-to. That you're just so, so grateful for. Feel the feeling of gratitude. Thankful. And from there, what are you thankful thought for about this practice, about this challenge that we've moved through? Thank you for the time. Thankful for the space that it gave you. Are you really grateful for how it made you feel physically and mentally? Eternally say thank you to the teachers that come before us, a long line of yogis that have passed this knowledge on so that we may practice. Even thank you for my yoga space that I loved being in. I'm really lucky to have that space. Thank you for the props. Thank you for my mat. Thank you for my body that moved through the postures that breathed a little deeper when I needed it to, that softened when I wanted it to. My little things to be thankful for. And each time you breathe out and let go, your body continues to soften as we sink into gratitude for the little things and for the big things. You want to get a little deeper. Press into your palms. And come up into seal.
So from wherever you are, lower your body, press to your palms, and make your way back to child's pose. Give the weight of your body over to the floor. Consciously letting go as you breathe out. Rolling the spine back up, coming down onto your back, ready for a twist. So we're going to take the knees in towards the chest and down to the right hand side. And you can have a block or cushion under the knees or in between the knees, looking over the left shoulder and softening the shoulders back into the earth. If you want to take the right hand up onto the top of the left knee, you can. Breathing out, letting go. Finding that little bit of space, little bit of stillness. Connecting with the breath and body. Space and time to just simply find little ways to let go. Shifting your gratitude towards yourself and just knowing how amazing you are for putting this time aside. All along this challenge, I have hope that you will be able to find strength and stability in this practice. That by feeding in, you're going to have more to give out. I think anyone that puts the time aside to nourish and to strengthen in that way is amazing. Not many people do that for themselves. So thank yourself right now. Thank you for, to yourself for coming to the mat, for committing, for putting the time aside, for showing up for yourself nurturing yourself knowing that in doing so you're on your way to finding nourishment and strength balance and stability Last few breaths, letting go a little more into the twist. Knees come into the center and go to the left. Looking over the right shoulder. Drawing the right shoulder down.
breathing out, letting go. Breathing out, letting go. We're so quick to criticize, uh, not just people around us, but ourselves. When we're not doing things as well as we'd like to be doing, when we're making poor choices. So please do take the time to give yourself recognition for what you have committed to here, for the good decision you made to turn up every day, for the commitment you had, for the love that you've showed yourself, and for the strength that you have. It's strong, it's super strong to show up every day for a yoga practice to, even when you're not feeling like it, roll out the mat anyway. It's really, really strong to make these kinds of choices for yourself. So just holding on a little while longer in this pose to that feeling of of being grateful for you, being grateful for who you are, being get grateful for your strength. I just want you to, to sit in that feeling of gratitude as you breathe and soften, recognizing how amazing you are. nice and slowly drawing those knees back around to center keep the knees bent relax the arms out to the side and just take a few moments here take a few deep breaths soften a little more savoring the stillness to the side. Pause for a moment. Press into your palm and with eyes closed or gaze low, come to a seated position. Bring your hands together at heart center. And one more time, we say thank you for the practice. Thank you to ourselves. Thank you.
Thank you for the technology that helps me to be with you in this way. Thank you for the opportunity to move through this challenge together. And one last time. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. That's it, yogis. <laughs> we made it to the end. So please remember that you can do this again if you want to. You can do it as many times as you want. Now that all of the videos are up on YouTube, they will stay there whenever you need them. And if you haven't already, I really want to encourage you to take part in and try some of the longer practices I have on my channel. Uh, so different when we have a full hour or even 40 minutes. It's a very different experience to the shorter bite-sized chunks that we've been doing each day. Both are lovely, but I really want you to experience a full deep practice. Um, and I will continue to release all different length classes on my channel weekly. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell so that you can stay notified. You'll get a little notification in your YouTube app whenever one of those videos goes live. And let me know in the comments below, guys, what this challenge did for you. Maybe what did you intend when you started out and how did it end up? What did you gain? What did you learn? What did you like about it? Let me know. Um, because your feedback really helps me and then that takes me to one last point which is please do stay in contact on facebook page in the facebook group on the comments on here on instagram wherever you find me um, because i've got lots more coming i'm working on some upcoming online courses um, and lots more yoga classes meditations different types of content coming for the channel so stay in contact with me guys and other than that, it's time for me to say goodbye and thank you for being with me for this 21 days and namaste yogis, I think you're awesome. <laughs>